This is episode 40 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, April 19th, 2021. Today we try four craft beers from Casey Brewing and Blend, with one of them being a collaboration with Microphone Brewing. This is the Pod Craft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yeah. We got tech guy, Steve. Present and accounted for. All present and present accounted and for. Present and gifted. So today, gentlemen, we're going to uh, tackle some beers from Casey Brewing. Guess what we get to do today, boys? Drink some beer. Yay. There it is. So Charlie, on his recent <clears throat> trip, had uh, dropped into to Casey Brewing and blending uh there in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Glenwood Springs. If you're ever out in that area, definitely hit them up. That is a spot. You brought need to some. Go to. Uh, brought a couple of beers back. So today we're gonna we're gonna look at a couple of different IPAs, uh, a hazy pale ale, followed by a stout. Okay. The reason I bought this one in, in particular was for you, Chris. It's a West Coast IPA, made in Colorado. Back in the day. <laughs> It's even got a date on it, which makes it probably really important. Casey Brewer makes some excellent beer, believe it or not. Oh, smells delicious. That's a West Coast IPA if I ever smelled one. That is, look at the color on that. That is beautiful. That's a good looking beer. Gosh, it just smells super that, that you can. Hops just punch yeah. you right in the nose. The uh, so so Casey, I haven't had you know. I was I was thinking about when you you mentioned that you're gonna you're gonna bring out some Casey beers. Um, I think everything I've had has been sours from there. I don't know that I've had any clean beers. Well, you know why? Casey. Because they didn't can or bottle anything. So the only thing you're gonna get is um, you know you might get some some Belgian style beers, but uh, there's a couple of them in there in big bottles that I have that are uh, interesting. But they have one that they did a collaboration with the uh, side project that I got a bottle of. Yeah, that looks really interesting. So we'll hit that up later at another date. But uh, this here is oh a delicious smelling IPA and pretty good taste in it. Oh gosh, yeah, no, it's it's phenomenal. Like you definitely taste that that West Coast that grapefruit. Um, little malty, you know, it's a uh, uh, it's got that multi multi backbone, I think. Um, We're uh, let me see here. A little sweet, like a little sweet. It's, I mean, that it's, is really good. <laughs> it's really really good, isn't it? Wow. I was trying to look for the um, the hops they used in this, but uh, they're not on there. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Cool looking bottle. It's got some old school, uh, you know, graphic, and uh, you know, like a looks like a '64 Impala tape deck. Surf sign, palm trees, you know, DVDs. No, that's cool. a phenomenal West Coast IPA. I like it. You know, he does a lot of stuff, and it's it's pretty much right on everything he's done that I've tasted. So, quite happy with it. Uh, I didn't even know that they had all these bottles available. These are, what happened? Is it 750 liter there? What is that? Those right there, 500. 500, yeah. Yeah, 500. And uh, so, not a big bottle. But, you know, everything else I've gotten from them has been the big bottle. So, you know, so I guess it is 750. It has to be even bigger than that. The bigger one. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what, well, then you have a couple magnums. Yeah, but, too, I think. Uh, it's, it's legit. I mean, it's everything about them. And I was excited about the stouts that were in bottles. So yeah. there's two of them. The one we're going to review today, and we'll do another one later at some point, too, with that other uh, Casey beer. But... Yeah, super, super excited. I went in there just to overnight stop after I hit outer range and uh, kicked in there and uh, got some uh, tasters and then uh, just got one of everything that they had, basically. And then uh, on my way, I went the next morning heading back to Vegas so or into Vegas. So a lot of drive time, but uh, definitely a cool brewery if anybody's in the Glenwood Springs or even traveling through Colorado, swing in there. You know, to there or out of range. I mean, it's just, it, it can't beat beers, man. Yeah. So I think, um, you know, just a little history of it. Uh, Casey Brewing was, was started by Troy Casey. 
uh, looks like in, in, in 2013 <clears throat> with the idea of creating a blendery mm-hmm. uh, was kind of his, uh, um, they said after searching for the perfect location for their barrel cellar, they found their current spot in South Glenwood right next to the Roaring Fork River. So he began uh, brewing sour and wild beers in uh, 2009 and quickly took over the all of his brewing in- interests. So it is mainly, I think, uh, sour beers, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a- mainly. I mean, I think that's his, his focus, mm-hmm. but he does a lot of collaborations with breweries in the area and stuff. So. Oh, that was weird. So he's uh, can't have nice things, can we? He's Tyler? just he's just doing doing just dandy. I have to rearrange my, my uh, microphone. Sorry, um, but uh, uh, I've I've emailed back and forth with him a couple times. Uh, pretty nice guy, as far as emailing goes. But uh, everyone there is really super excited, you know, about the whole situation about COVID. Uh, no, the uh, <laughs> brewery and stuff. I've been to the brewery, which is on They've that river. They've been drinking a lot. They're just <laughs> super happy people. That river is super cool if you're sitting out behind the brewery. Now, they have a tap room down in Glenwood Springs in the city, you know, back where the, you know, the restaurants and all that stuff are. And that's, you know, that's a super cool place. But uh, the brewery is super legit. I mean, they have their own uh, bar there, and that's where all their barrels are and stuff and their production so that was interesting to get a little uh, tour of that and uh, buy some bottles there. But super excited! This tastes fantastic. I'm not, you know, I'm not the biggest West Coast IPA fan, but this could be drinkable. Yeah, no, that is super drinkable. I'm I'm a big fan of uh, West Coast IPAs. <clears throat> That's the rumor going around. And so, did you guys uh, did you guys have any decent beers this week? Decent, decent, decent. <laughs> how do you, how do you let's see what? That? Let's see what uh, our buddy Steve comes up with. So, um, <clears throat> I've been doing uh, some of the cr- uh, stone IPAs that have been in the bigger bottles. So I did. They have one called the Cronut, which is a newer, newer special beer for. I don't think it's all the time. So it was really good. Uh, IPA. That's it. Uh, that's all I'm going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Hop fuel journey to now. That's what it is. That That's sounds good. Got. Yeah, seven point five percent. Woo! Cronut. It didn't taste like a cronut though. I think that's a like a donut a with is. a donut with a thing. Wasn't it on Steinfeld or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna look it up though. What did you have? Um, <clears throat> you know, the other day I uh, I went up to. Um, to pick up the Ferris Falcon release. Anybody go with you? Uh, yeah, you did. Oh, I brought. Right. Yeah, you. Yep. I. Yep. Charlie <laughs> came with me. And you so, got a crappy beer. You know, I. <laughs> so I, I wasn't going to mention the first beer that I ordered, <laughs> but I. Um, well, I will. I will mention this. So I. I, I got. A, I got a beer for free. Yes, I was super you excited. did. I was super excited. It was. Uh, it was a long time coming. Because so, you had me with you, your muscle. <laughs> exactly. But they finally gave me on a, on a pickup day. I was able wait, to get a free gristle, beer. I so I was, I was super excited by that. So the, um, I, I got a, uh, one of the beers that I got was from a place in, um, in Tustin called, uh, uh, taps, um, taps brewery. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was phenomenal. It was called juicy Lou. Wait, um, wait, I think I got that first. Yeah. Well, that's neither, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I had it. You know, um, I actually well, Charlie it ordered fantastic. it first, and I mean, then I ordered it. If I ever then, go up there uh, again, I know what I'm getting. That's it was really, really, sure, it was really tasty. I was, it was juicy. It was. It was a really Very good beer. Juicy. It was a, uh, it was a hazy IPA, uh, and it was just super soft in the mouth. Um, but it was, uh, man, it was just had a great hop profile. Fruity too, super, man. super tasty. Mm-hmm. Just really light. It was. Uh, it was really good. I was highly impressed with that beer. Yeah. Uh, for me, I had uh, one of those, uh, the decocted uh, uh, Pilsner from uh, Humble Sea. Mm. I, think, I think it was, uh, I want to say Beechwood that they did the collaborate. It oh. wasn't Beechwood, was it? No, Heirloom? Who was the other one they did? The, who did they Highland do? Park. They did a Highland Park and other half. They did a, was it a collab? It, it must have been the Highland Park one. Mm. It's a decocted Pilsner? I think it, yeah. It was pretty dang good. Mm. Really good, I thought. Um, and then the other one, what else? I ha- Oh, I had a, um, yeah. took a picture of it. Maybe I should look at my camera or my photos. But yeah, we. I was uh, 
I was super happy. I was going to use the juice, juicy Lou, but uh, mm-hmm. somebody else stole that from me. So I guess I'm going to have to do my own thing here. But yeah, it was uh, a couple of beers that were pretty good, actually. That West Coast IPA that you gave us from Hop uh, Vegas? Yeah. That was the uh, Craft Hoss? Yeah, yeah. That was good, too. Was it? Yeah, it was really it was good. good. I had yeah. that. Uh, yeah. I haven't tried that yet. So if, um, if I had two beers last week, that was. That was if you're doing two, <laughs> like to get that West Coaster in there. I had a few other beers that were really good, but that uh, oh, check Pilsner, mm. that's it. From where? I think th- that's from that craft craft house, mm. and it was fantastic. So there you go, pretty good beers. I like you. So what are you gonna are we gonna jump to the next one? You're in charge, Charlie. All right, good. I'm popping popping beers, man. Ooh, this is uh, Doc Hollihays. <laughs> That's awesome. Doc Hollihays. <laughs> I'll be a daisy if I do. It's got to be an awesome name. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's got cards on the front. Yeah, cards with uh, Doc Holliday on it. If we, if we jump into movie trivia, we're going to be in trouble. So mm-hmm. I'll just cut it that uh, he should have won an uh, Oscar for that performance. As Doc Holliday in Val Kilmer? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, I mean, best TV or movie uh, one-liners in the world. Say when. I love that one. <laughs> so the uh, so Doc Holliday's here um, comes across. It's a, a hazy pale ale brewed with uh, massive amounts of strata and uh, mosaic hops. Yeah, that says what's in the... Uh, that one says what's in the uh, bottle. It checks in at... Uh, Nice light, five point three percent, a New England style pale ale. Ooh, good job on this one. We go from West Coast right to my backyard. I love it. I'm a big, uh, big fan of that hazy IPA, huh? Yeah, I love the smell and I love the soft pillowy taste. This has got a little. It's got a little uh, IBU there that that I'm getting a kick of IBU at the end. I like it. Just a little, you know, nothing heavy for sure, but. Uh, that just shows you the uh, the steps, you know, from the West Coast IPA to a hazy. I think we're going to drink a pale ale next from them. Super tasty. Huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Smells good. Take a hit. What do you think? That's really smooth. Yeah. That's, that's really smooth. <laughs> it's an easy drinker. That is a... Uh... That's almost as good as uh, Doc Holliday's uh, performance there in Tombstone. Well, and here's the thing: I mean, uh, previously, I'm you've never been able to get cans or bottles in this size, and of anything other than their sours or their Belgian uh, blendery part. So, super excited to pull in there and see you know several of these things sitting on the counter waiting to be purchased, waiting was, for you. Yeah, I was. I mean. They were calling my name, I think, but it was so nice to go in there, taste them, and uh, I just want to taste them anyways, but uh, I was going to buy them either way, but uh, unless something was just, you know, really wrong, and I figured it wouldn't be with, uh, you know, Troy and his um, excellent brewing, but uh, I bought everything, One, like I said, one of everything, so I was pretty happy with what I tasted, so I figured everything else would be spot on too. So, and I was right, but uh, super neat, man. I, I just I'm excited that they had these these bottles available because I thought it, you know, if they didn't, I was only going up there for the sours, and and I, I have plenty of sours of theirs already in my garage, but uh, this will work. This will work nice. Yeah, no, that's super tasty. Yeah, I love it, it um. That back end it reminds me a little, a uh, little more West Coast than mm-hmm. like a uh, than a New England style mm-hmm. IPA. I think you know a little more piney on that that, that back end. Yeah, a little bite on the end. Uh, but man, that, that certainly a great. I mean, it's super soft. That uh, you get a lot of a lot of hot flavor. You get a little. Um, I think it, it, it <laughs> kind of smell smells too is good. Yeah, it smells a little, a uh, little, a little more fruity. I think, and then you got the uh, taste a little piney there. You get a little, little bit of that. Um, I think pininess in the background of the smell. But I like it. Yeah, that's, that's that's a great uh, that's a great hazy. And you know, it's 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 cool because I've been up there. You know, this is this would be my uh, third time going through there, 
and uh gosh just almost uh almost want to just turn around and go back and get some more <laughs> i could actually live in glenwood springs that's such a nice area i mean there was snow everywhere it was cold it was uh i think the it didn't warm up until i uh, got out of uh, colorado and into arizona and utah and it started to warm up there but uh we, you know, I just left the beer in the car. You know, it was 32 degrees overnight, so mm -hmm. it was quite uh, cool enough for those beers. And uh, drove all the way to Vegas, and uh, they were still cold. Yeah. Real mm -hmm. cold. You know, cold enough to just pop them when you got there. So uh, when I did get there, we uh, we cracked some of that uh, ska. Uh, I don't I don't think I gave – I didn't give them any of these, these bottles because uh, I only got one of each of them, so – if they want to drink them, they can come down here, but that's on them. <laughs> but super cool, super tasty. I was I was excited to get them. That was my thing. I mm -hmm. you yeah, know. I can I can see why because you, if you've only been eat, drinking sours from them, then you get something that they've been well, yeah. But I mean, they, they've never bottled these before, but so they've been making them for a yeah. long time. So but, if you, you were know, in, they're serving them up there. You yeah, it never had them. anything. Yeah. You, can drink, you know, COVID. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a lot of brought a lot of good. Oh, I'm going to have to agree with that. It's definitely uh, it's on the right path, you know, as far as these guys making these. I mean, I'm sure if they sell, you know, mm -hmm. quite a few of them, they're going to keep doing it. So, right. I mean, I always said, gosh, it's too bad you can't get any of these things mm -hmm. in a can or a bottle. And they said, well, you know, that's how, how, it, how it is. So, I mean, they don't ask me how to do anything. <laughs> so, I would, Not yet, Charlie. Not yet. I, Not yeah, yet. Well, you can call them anytime you want. Yeah, opinion. I could probably, you know, send email them a suggestion that would be uh, put in the spam category, probably <laughs> junk, garbage, trash can type thing. But uh, super excited! Uh, we got one more to go here of the um, the IPA or pale ale or hazy style. So we'll get to that here in a second after I chug down the rest of this. Man, that's a super good beer. I'm uh, I'm a big fan of that. Well, I'm excited you're excited about it. I don't, I don't, we, we usually don't hear too much about anything from beer, beer wise from you. <laughs> Short on opinions. That's Chris's. Beer. Although yeah. he does travel with a, with a uh, backpack cooler everywhere he goes. <laughs> yes, I do. That's true. Occasionally. <laughs> yep. My yeah. week's working, uh, looking up. Look at that, boys. One more day of work. I'm going to uh, Hawaii. Yay. Take a Congratulations. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, this is a NZ State of Mind. This is a uh, IPA with Nelson and Motueka hops. And let me tell you, this is this is going to be a shocker to you guys. I think it's it's looking really good. So pour on into that. I'll I'll give you my sniff test. <laughs> Don't do that, Chris. Chris just. Almost poured his beer into his water. Oh, uh, he's done that before. He's he's pretty he, tricky. He was trying to really water it down. I like it a little watered down. <laughs> okay, so this thing looks just as hazy, if not hazier, than the last beer. And this is a pale ale, though. No, right? it's a it's a New England. New England. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we have another uh, another IPA ready for all. It says brewed with a pale malt, a bunch of wheat, uh, hand selected Ooh, Nelson winner. Motueka hops. Winner. Huge tropical notes that definitely change your state of mind. Is the, that is the right. super good. Nelson's one of my favorite hops. I, I would imagine it would be, seeing you love that Nelson from Alpine so much. Yeah, that was uh, that was certainly one of my um, one of my favorite. favorite beers for a very very long time. This does smell delicious, and it's a. There's no uh, bitter end on the back, or you know, IBU taste or piney, you know. Real smooth. I wish I would have bought more of those. Wow. You should have. You remember how you were talking about turning around? <clears throat> yeah. I want to go out tomorrow, play golf, and then head to Colorado, I think. Oh yeah. You got that uh definitely taste that Nelson on the back end. Oh yeah. That's what kind of just kind of blankets your tongue. Super smooth, and then you get that Nelson kind of burn on the back end. So it's so oh, tasty. Wow. That's, that's a good yeah, it's phenomenal, huh? <laughs> so the other day when when we got back uh from uh, from from picking that beer up, uh, from uh, Charlie was like, "Hey, I think we should do these these Casey beers." And he pulled them out and 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 said, "Hey, uh, uh help me help me choose which one we're gonna do." 
I saw like uh, that New Zealand. When I saw Nelson. that, and I, I saw it was Nelson. I'm like, all right, here we go. This is. Uh, <laughs> let's. Do you have any more of those? Because we can just do all those. <laughs> yeah, let's do uh, four or five of those. Oh, great stuff, man! Casey Brewing, folks. No, that's a that's a super. You know, I'm 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 really surprised because, like I had said, you know, kind of coming in here, and not I don't want to say I'm surprised because the guy's up. You know, he's a phenomenal brewer, right? Like he's um multiple awards for well, his sour beers, yeah. right? And and you'd talked about his his clean beers being on tap at his uh, at the tasting room, but um, to not have experienced them and, and have this as your first experience, and you know, expecting like somebody that makes really good sour beers, you know. That well, these are phenomenal. You know, uh, I advise if anybody goes there to, you know, if they're opened up for tours of their brewery, that's what you want to go to. I mean, the the tap room is is wonderful and modern and cool and hip, and there's plenty of food around. You know, and neighboring uh, restaurants right there. It's it's like a a little downtown, mm. but it's on the inside, like walkway of the um, of the little city area there. And uh, you can get any type of food delivered to you, and f- or from the restaurants around. I wasn't ready to sit down and eat there, so I I got the beer, I put it in my car, and then I went over to a restaurant and got takeout to go back to my room, and then I sat and had a couple of, I think, out of range beers and uh, and uh, had my, my mm-hmm. dinner. So that was that was what I was interested. I just wanted to go to bed after I ate. And, mm-hmm. Drove for yeah, yeah. I drove for six, eight hours, but I, that was a long day for me because I started at like six in the morning and I ended it at like nine thirty at night. So Oop. I was tired. For and, a retired person, you work hard. <laughs> it's a lot of driving. <laughs> it's a lot of driving. I, I mean, I had to stop. I, mean, I don't know if I mentioned. I mentioned I stopped at the uh, uh, up top overland rack. Uh, place for the that built the rack for my rig and they mm. uh they repaired my rack and uh, actually the the new parts showed up today but uh i stopped in there and they're in castle rock colorado and then i drove from castle rock to frisco frisco to glenwood springs mm. and it's just you know i didn't know what time things were closing i was driving so i couldn't get online and check out when right. so um it was it was cool. It, it, it all worked out, and I was happy. And uh, anytime I get beer, I'm happy. So I'm. I just wish I had a little bit more time where I could have stopped in at Outer Range and kind of taken it in a little bit, and then tasted a few beers. Uh, but uh, by the time I got to Glenwood Springs, I was pretty tired. So, anyways, but uh, it was it was a fun trip. Like I said, uh, we'll do we'll do an Outer Range uh, beers. On one of these next uh, podcasts and uh, go through those. I had, I think I have at least five or six of those. But uh, um, and then that uh, craft house in Vegas. I mean, some of that stuff is. I'm just now starting to crack some cold ones of those, and those things are fantastic. But uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm just excited to to get the beers and put them on the podcast and uh, tell everybody about them because I mean, those are ones. I mean. If you're driving through Colorado, a lot of people are traveling nowadays, especially on the road. Not as much flying, but uh, you can get out and get around. I mean, that's an easy brewery to hit. Yep, it's right going right through the middle of the Rocky Mountains. So. Mm-hmm. But uh, maybe at one of these days, I'll just uh, post all the uh, breweries from you know San Diego to right. Nashville yeah. or San Diego to you just Virginia. Need a, you just need a road map. <laughs> Yeah, I, Charlie's I, Charlie's beer. Roadmap. Yeah, well, there's. <laughs> I've been ping ponging around the country for a while. You know, even yeah. during COVID, I mean, I think I've been across the country like um, at least four times. But yep. uh, you know, Mar- all the way from the furthest I've gone is to New York City, but uh, Maryland, you know, Norfolk, uh, Virginia is packed full of great breweries. Right. You know, then you have. Uh, Southern Gris in uh, Nashville and uh, Burley Oak. No, not Burley Oak, but uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Bearded Iris. That's a really good place there, too. So, anyways. But uh, I'm just making work for these guys now, I guess. But uh, are we on to the stout? Well, this was a really good beer. That was phenomenal. I mean, it was, uh, yeah, hazy. uh, You know, you definitely taste the 
a little more aggressive, I think, than than the normal hop profile that you see on like a on on a hazy IPA or a New England style IPA. It was phenomenal though. I, I love that. Uh, I tasted a stout uh, when I was at Casey, and um, I just I was wondering why they didn't have that thing bottled up because it would have been fantastic. And this may have been it or not. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, this is called Stout Tribe. I think this might have been it. Uh, it's an imperial stout with 100% Madagascar vanilla. And it smells like vanilla. So, super excited to get this. Oh, it's pouring. So, this um, uh, this stout, like like uh, Charlie said, Stout Tribe, uh, they use Madagascar vanilla imperial stout. Uh, they brewed this with with microphone brewing in, uh, in Chicago. Oh, it's mm. a collab. Sorry. And it's... I mean, that's the thing. Dang, that Chicago. smells good. It's dangerously good smelling. Take a whiff of that, dude. Woo. Dang. Definitely smell a lot of a lot of vanilla on the nose. Yeah, there. it's it's genuine. Microphone makes my um, uh, probably the beer with a like my favorite name. Like, smells like uh, Bean Spirit, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like their vanilla stout, like a. Little little take on some uh, Nirvana there. Yeah. This this is uh, not overly rich. I love the smell. The taste isn't like explosively vanilla. So it's uh, I think it's at perfect temperature, if I remember correctly. I really like the smell. Yeah. Because it's just one smell. It's like you're not trying to figure out a whole bunch of other Where smells. everything yeah. is coming from, right? You get that kind of syrupy, like vanilla... Um, marshmallowy. It smells awesome. I mean, I can give it that much, but I mean, the taste is not like jump out at you vanilla. I thought it would be a lot more, a lot richer. Let's put it that way. And it is, it's tasty. That's for sure. The temperature is good. A couple of times we've been drinking beers probably that were a little too cold. Yeah. Yeah. This is more the temperature where we want it. What do you got on your temperature, uh, well, earlier I had it when I had it on the ground here before I uh, busted it open. Yes, sir. It was at uh, 55. Now we're at uh, 59 and a half. That's, uh, you know, 59.3 is like my... Uh, oh, is that where you wanted? 58.6 to Let me reset all the refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <fine. laughs> That's where I find I, uh, I taste the sell. best notes. <laughs> No, this is, uh, and it'll it'll probably open up a little bit more when it warms up a little bit more, but uh, yeah, well, you I can like d- it. definitely taste the vanilla after. It's like, yeah, you, you sit for a little bit. Yeah, your tongue feels. Well, I'm like I said, I was uh, I was just pleased that they had these things in bottles because that's, I mean, really, that's what I want. I want his his clean beers, and you know. Taste those. I want other people to taste them. So, you know, I'd much rather sit down and drink a 500 milliliter bottle with three people than sit there and pound one of those by myself. <laughs> then, that's a great size, though. It is. It is. It's, it's a phenomenal size. It's got to yeah, be one of the For sure. It's sizes. a great size. Perfect for three people. I yep. mean, we each got, you know, what, four ounces? Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Yeah. Like when you're, you know, I'd rather do a couple of, uh, that's my kind of my the one complaint I have with like sixteen ounce beers. You know, like I want to have like two or three beers, yeah. right? Like I'm not doing that with sixteen ounce beer. Yeah. Or, or you know, I mean, it'd be great three people right. sitting around, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's about how much beer I want on like a like I want to have a beer, but I want to have numerous different. Yeah, I want to do different flavors. Yeah, that's you know? the goal, for right? Me. It's like the quantity is not what I'm going for. I'm going for right. trying to have a bunch of different types of beers, right? With a small amount doesn't make it okay yeah exactly right yeah i don't want to like i want to i don't want to feel it tomorrow yeah Yeah. which one do you like the best steve oh that the west coast ipa was really good um number one yeah Yeah. but number three was really good too um i'm i'm a big fan of this brewery i want to go there (laughs) (laughs) it is in the area it's in as well right it's It's like a area let me tell you i mean there's there's maroon bell up there there's i mean I stayed uh, four days in Lake Alta, which mm. is at like almost 11,000 feet up there, camping by myself 
which was terrifying and fun all at the same time. But mm. uh, it's it's a super unique area. Mm. I mean, because you're you're coming off the plains of right. uh, Utah, Arizona, and Colorado mm-hmm. to the Rocky Mountains. It's on the upslope, mm-hmm. and uh, it's before you get to the peaks. So it's still up there in the hills, and uh, it's, it's just a super. They have their own hot springs in mm-hmm. Lemon Springs. So oh, wow, when they do open up, that would be a cool place to go to. But uh, like I said, I've been through there. This that's my third time through there, and I I love that town. I mean, super excited to go there. I mean, the brewery is a plus plus for me, but uh, the area is super unique. And super fun. I mean, like I said, there's food, there's beer, there's, you know, hot springs, there's snow, there's skiing, you know, everything is there in the winter and it's still there in the summer except for the skiing. I mean, then the trails are open, so. Yeah, it sounds like a great place to visit. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if we're going to go into Colorado later this year. Who is? Trying to figure out. uh, We are? Well, I mean, (laughs) more than welcome. I mean, I, I <clears throat> I'm supposed to go uh my, my family's doing Christmas in Colorado. Like mm-hmm. the uh my mom and then my siblings, the grandkids. Um so I was trying to figure out if I was gonna drive or fly. And driving was like I'm like, oh man, we could ski and veil on the way in and Yeah. And Glenwood Springs and you know if you're in Vail, you can go to Frisco where dr- uh outer range is, so yeah, it's, it's basically to be just stop, drive, stop, drive, stop, drive. <laughs> well, I kind of look at like, you know, when, when thinking about it, I'm like, all right, the, um, when you take into account, like it's whatever, 16 hour, no, nah, it's not even that far no. to get to, um, you know, it's like 14 hours. But when you look at flying and you're flying at Christmas time and then you got to get driving, you know, fly into Denver and then drive back out. Mm-hmm. I'd fly into Grand Junction and drive up from there. Mm. I mean, I'm not driving the plane. the the plane I'm <laughs> the the plane I'm willing to pay for is going to Denver. <laughs> 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 there, they, yeah. Hey, it doesn't. Okay. G- Here's the deal. You pay for my gas. I'll drive you to Glenwood Springs <laughs> and to Frisco. And then where? And then what? I'll just dump you off in the snowbank. I don't care. I mean, you <laughs> told me that's you actually should- probably <laughs> that's what we should do. Is I'll fly the kids to Denver. And be like, hey, Charlie's going to drive me to Denver. <laughs> and then, yeah, well. Uh, Denver is a nice town, too. I it's like a great, Denver. great town. You swing in. You can have a uh, hot dog or whatever we roast over the fireplace. I don't know. I've always know wanted to, to you know, have a Christmas, uh, family Christmas thing at a wintry spot, you know, where you find a place big enough for everybody, everybody to stay. That'd be That's cool. us. I think there's 17 of us going. Kind of uh, Maryland's... Uh, um, she likes to every couple of years get together with the whole family. You know, we did uh, Alaska a while ago and Florida. Oh, that sounds great. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's a good time. Get the uh, get the whole family there, and it's fun. So yeah, I, I hey, I'm going number three as far as you know to mm-hmm. to kind of loop back. You you'd ask Steve which beers. Uh, Steve was between one NZ and State of one mine. and three. NZ State of Mind was mine. Yep, wow, that I was, was it. Shocked that you didn't like the West Coast IPA. I, it was it was phenomenal, but the um, now had that West Coast <laughs> IPA been jam chock full of those <laughs> New Zealand hops, <laughs> game over for yeah, me. Yeah, well, yeah. I probably just. But the it. um, if I if I'm gonna have a hazy IPA, I want it to drink like that, uh, like that New Zealand state of mind, where it's kind of a more West Coast. You get that that hoppier profile. I love those New New Zealand hops. Yeah. Good job on that. I'll I'll tell Troy next time I cruise. You let him know, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he wouldn't he wouldn't even recognize me. Hmm. Anyway, so you didn't, the stout wasn't there for you. It was good. It was good. And like Steve said, you know, it's great to like. Um, I have a few bottles of just straight vanilla stout, but mm-hmm. I, I think you know more and more. Like we've done a lot of adjunct stouts, and we kind of look for you know how the, how crazy the tastes get and. and um, no, it's great. It's great on that front, how it's just really simple, but it, there is a lot of vanilla in there. The vanilla comes through really good. Uh, it's a great stout, but I just think I don't drink as many hazy IPAs that, as, you know, as pound for pound, I'm going that hazy IPA. I like that number three, the the NZ State of Mind, um, but I'm actually going to go with the stout. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
it's it's working on me. Let's put it that way. I've, I've had a couple of sips here now, and it's uh, it's warmed up a little bit more, and I'm smelling more vanilla and tasting a little more vanilla. So, I'm, I'm yo, it's phenomenal. Yeah, you yeah. definitely get that yeah. vanilla in there. There's not a bad beer today. No, no. <laughs> no they were great. They were yeah, they were well, super good. Cheers yeah. to Casey Brewing and their uh, their great talents. Uh, they're a great brewery. If you if you're in uh, Glenwood Springs, hit them up. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. In compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.